Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I would show you my new brushes that I just got. I actually got them from Kohl's. It is BH Cosmetics. And yeah, I'm very excited about them. So I figured I would go through them and tell you what um, they're actually used for and show you them, how they feel. And then I will let you guys know what I use them for because I personally use them for other different ways than what they're meant for which is okay makeup has no rules right i mean heck you can use an eyeshadow for a highlighter a blush you can use a blush and a highlighter for an eyeshadow so yeah and disclaimer i just want to let you know well not disclaimer but i just want to let you guys know if you guys hear a little rustling sound that is my fan with these lights and with these candles that i burn right here and right here well, and then there's one behind me. <laughs> um, it does get pretty hot in here, especially with these lights. I have two here and a lamp back here to give more background lighting. So I'm sweating up the storm and have the fan blowing. Sorry if my hair starts flying or I had to pull hair out of my lip gloss. So yeah, anyway, so let's get started. So like I said in the title, I got the BH Cosmetics 14 piece chic brush set. Um, I actually got them at Kohl's and I love Kohl's. If you guys don't know what Kohl's is, which I'm pretty sure most of you know, they do sell makeup there. I was a little apprehensive to get these because for one, I've never tried BH Cosmetics. I have heard wonderful things about them, but I personally have never tried them. I've never even tried any other stuff. So, but I have heard really good things. My cousin Heather, she has not started her YouTube channel, but she does do makeup in the San Antonio, I can't talk today, San Antonio, Texas area. So if you live there and you need your makeup done and you don't want to do it by yourself, check her out. Her name is Heather Lugo, I Lugo? Her name, I believe her name is Heather Lugo, um, or Lugo, L-U-G-O. And she does a fantastic job. She wants to start her own channel, but she's very nervous about it. But I really think she'd be really great at it. I know she's actually going to be in town in July. So I'm hoping that I can get some time with her to actually film a video with her. <coughs> Maybe we'll do like each other's makeup or something like that. Or let her do my makeup or show me some techniques. But anyway, um, I got this at Kohl's for... It was $22.99. I had a $10 off um, or $10 Kohl's cash reward. So I ended up using that. So it came out to $12 something. And then I actually had 20% off. So I actually got it for under $10, which is a really good deal. These are still $22 online. Currently, they are sold out. They have been sold out of this set for quite some time. I've looked on Kohl's online. I didn't see it, but... I know when I went to Michael's and Marion, they no longer had this set. Um, they sold out of it as well. They do have other sets. I think, believe they have like four other sets on um, at least Kohl's.com. So I'm going to be going there to purchase some more um, brushes. And I want to purchase some brushes from Morphe as well. And get you can get those at Ulta. But yeah. So there's 14 brushes. And what's nice is they come in this like cute little pink bag. Um, I think this is absolutely adorable. And I've never flown. I think I got, told you guys I'm going to Florida in May. But I'm pretty sure I can put my brushes in here. I'm going to have to find out. But I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I keep them in my Make Today Beautiful mug from Tarte um, that I got at a Tarte event. So yeah, there's that one. But yeah, so the first one is an angled powder brush. I love this. It is so soft. I love that it's like, I love how soft it is. I love like even the bristles, like even though they're brown, they have that like reddish pinkish tint to it. So it goes with the brush. This is like a matte brown handle and then it's got the chrome or the rose gold metallic right here. And I love it, it's so nice. This is what I use to apply my setting powder on my face. They're so soft, 
my cat even loves them he likes to jump up here and rub his face against them which is so annoying the second brush is the medium powder brush i actually use this for a blush i mean like i said makeup has no rules so i use this for a blush it applies the color very very nicely my highlight is popping i just apply these to the, the these this to the apples of the cheeks it's really nice like i said all these brushes are super soft i haven't used them all yet but i've mainly used these and the eyeshadow brushes but so far i'm in love with this brush set you guys so the third one is a small powder brush and i actually use this to set the powder under my eyes because it's big enough to cover more area but it's small enough to where it can get under my eyes precisely and it just does wonders the next is a angled crease brush now this is gonna sound funny guys I actually use this to apply my highlight and everybody knows I use the Becca champagne pop with Jaclyn Hill I honestly like it, it applies highlight so well so I literally just go try not to blind you guys but the highlight is going to be blinding enough I just literally go one, two, three, four, four, tap off the excess, powder went everywhere, and I literally, and it's so nice because it is angled, it goes right where I want it. I just go a couple times, I may like bring it down a little bit, go up and around, you know, whatever. A couple more times go over here and this has honestly made my highlight better than when I was using the big fluffy brush I just place it on my nose down my nose the cupid though and then right here on my chin up here but it's so nice because it's got that angle to it it gets the cheekbones so precise I love it for the highlight. It's it's great for the highlight. The next brush is sorry, the medium flat eyeshadow brush. So I use this for um like my shimmers. I like to I'm wearing the cat or the cat the um kitten the Stila Magnificent. It's a little trial size, but the um, Stila Magnus Magnificent Glitters Kitten, Kitten, Kitten Karma, I'm sorry, on my eyes. But I like to take this, like, we'll just do it here. I like to take, like, the shimmers, and it gets right where I want it. So I'm just going to take my Morphe uh, 35U, and I'm just going to pick a shimmer. I'm going to pick, like, this rosy, this rosy gold one right here. And it picks up so much. I only have to do it like one or two times. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a bad color to do. Um, so I'm going to do this purple one. Literally, I just dumped it three times in it. It does such wonders. And like, it doesn't... It doesn't keep like most of the shadow on it. Like I'm blending it out and there's less there's less product on the brush. So it doesn't keep the product completely on the brush. Next one, which is number six, is a medium oval eyeshadow brush. I haven't used this one yet. Honestly. No, I haven't used this one at all. I haven't used this one. I can't wait to use this one. Um, not pretty sure on what I want to do it for. I think it may be, I'm going to use it more for doing the lower lash line. Like to just buff that out and smoke it out a little bit. And then this one is a, this is the number seven. This is the blending. This is my, like, all the time. This is the greatest, the greatest. <laughs> this is the one I use for in my crease. Um, blending you know the transition colors 
making it look really pretty. And I mean, it just has this technique or this like blendability about it. Like it doesn't, you guys know how you get like those cheap drugstore brushes like what I have. Elf. No, this is a Studio M Pro blending brush. I can tell my cat shoot on it. <laughs> but before that, I'll just turn that down. It would literally like blend too much in my crease to where it did too much up here. So I'd have to go back with a Q-tip with some eye cream or um, eye remover, eye remover, eye makeup remover and like take some of it off because this would literally over blend. And I don't have a problem with this one. So this is number eight and this is a concealer brush. I haven't used this yet. I will probably use this in my next tutorial to show you guys, but I mean, it doesn't do too bad. I mean, it's gonna blend more. I need to do my tutorial. That's probably what my next tutorial is gonna be is using these brushes and it's probably gonna be before this one. <laughs> so yeah, check that out. Then this is a small concealer brush. I haven't used this one either. But I think this would honestly be great for like if you want to do like two different shimmers. I like doing two, two different shimmers. Like use these two colors all the time. I use Obsessed and SBN right here all the time. So it's really nice like if I want to do either lighter to inner, I can go in here and like do my lighter, get the lighter brush and get really precise in that, you know, that corner. Or any, like anything, if you wanna do like a matte or anything like that, this brush, I feel like a small concealer brush, like I know it's supposed to be used for, for concealer, but like I said, makeup, you can break the rules. This would be great for doing like shimmer eyeshadow or even a matte eyeshadow in like the corner like to blend it out it'd be it's honestly the perfect brush and then this is a flat eyeliner <laughs> brush I use this to define my my lower lash line so like I get right up in there I still use like I'll use this one to get like right up against my lower lash line and then I'll use this one to buff it out because this is a great they're almost similar I don't know if you guys can see they're almost similar, but this one right here is a little bit more like wider. And if you look at it this way, if you guys can see, like I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe. You guys see. Yeah, anyway, this one right here is way thinner than this one. So this one I used for, like I said, defining the line, lower lash line, getting right up against that waterline, and then I take this um, flat eyeliner and I go underneath it with, you know, that little bit of darker color and smoke it out. And then this is the angled eyeliner brush. I haven't used this yet and I'm really excited to because as you guys know, I do have the Maybelline um, I do have the Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. And I haven't really used it lately because, I mean, it's pretty dug in, but you guys can't really tell. But I haven't really used it because I have been using the Stila um, Liquid Eyeliner going right above, or like right against the lash line, and I love it. But I can't wait to try this one. This next one is an oval lip brush. But if you guys can see how small it is, I use this to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. This is small enough. I just, I normally use the two. It is a hard brush. So you kind of have to like work it back and forth before you use it. Because otherwise it will dig in your, 
but I will just go in there and like go back and forth a few times between in light and um, beam and just go in between and as you guys can I don't know if you guys can see if you guys can see that right there that's that's the highlight like that's the inner corner highlight it's so pretty though oh I forgot one this is the oh this is the standard lip pencil so this is really great like if you have a lip like palette and you need to do your lips you can um get in there so the last brush is a precision eyeliner brush so this is really great I haven't used it yet I don't know if you guys can even see it like there we go this is really great you want to do that cut crease and you know get along here and like do that glitter this would be perfect for it but I haven't used it yet I'm not excited about using that and I just like so yeah that is the new um, BH cosmetics brush set that I just got um, these are the brushes that I currently use I have these are more for my clients now I use these still so these are in my Tarte brush or my Tarte brush my Tarte coffee cup um, because I use them every day these I may every once in a while I need to clean them because again and soak them in alcohol because as you can tell this still has blush on it so or bronzer on it but I do this is going to be mainly used for my clients and um, yeah so if you if the vlog hasn't gone up before um, you guys see this um, I applied to beauty school yesterday um, today is Thursday Today is Thursday. Um, I applied yesterday, um, which was the April 4th. And I had my interview today with the beauty school. Um, they said I have, um, it'll be about a week, they're waiting on my financial aid paperwork to come through. And then hopefully I'll be starting school in August. Um, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very sorry, you know, I'm, I don't really do, a lot of videos right now um, here in the next month there will be videos coming three or four woo, videos will be coming about three or four times a week now I have pickups so yeah I know like there's vlogs there's beauty videos there's lifestyle videos there's cleaning style videos my channel is everything basically so yeah that's what basically my I'm gonna say basically a lot that's basically what my channel is going to be, is lifestyle combination with beauty. I do love beauty. I will probably incorporate more with the more stuff that I get um, because I am taking some of my paycheck that I get from working at my mom's tax business and going to get some more makeup. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I haven't bought like new makeup since I bought the... Um, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and it's been a couple months so yeah but anyway I just wanted to thank you guys I love you thank you so much for being supportive and so patient with me trying to get these videos coming out between working two full-time jobs and yeah I love you and I will see you guys in my next video bye